Yeah, we gotta we gotta figure out how to get this in there. Oh wow, okay. Good? Alright, stay right there, Rods. Wow. It is so, so hot in Texas. So I gave zero context as to what's going on. You guys just saw me grab some rods up at the airport, get into some stranger's car, and uh, now I'm, I don't even know where I'm at right now, but I'm somewhere uh, hopefully gonna catch fish. Charlie over there is uh, taking me to a juice spot. So I'm in Texas, I'm in Austin, Texas. I didn't film any like the flying, like I feel like I do that all the time. Maybe, I mean, if you guys really wanna see me like j jump on an airplane and go around, like you guys can let me know in the comment section. I figured I'd save the time and just get straight to the uh, the good stuff, the fishing stuff. So we're at a pond. We might hit a couple of them tonight, right? A couple of them. And, uh, and then, you know, we'll be doing some other fun things the next couple of days. But that's what we're doing tonight. It's like, what time is it? It's about 3.30 right now. It's like 3.30. So you got like an hour and a half. So we're hitting this pond. We're, we might hit another one. And then we might do some like night fishing with swim baits. That's something I've never done before. So that'll be interesting. Either way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some fishing poles out of the vehicle, put the chest mount on, and go catch some fish. Yeah, we're 100% getting kicked out. I have a feeling. Where do we go? Just around? Do you go in the bush? Go in the bushes? Yeah. All right. So this video is going to be interesting. I'm starting off at the Senko. Probably going to turn this into like a. Is the next spot a pond? No, next spot's a creek. Oh, okay. Well, this may be a this may be a pond tips, creek tips. You know, I've never been here, so I'm going to go to the old reliable Stanko, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to catch any fish here. Got a good feeling. It's so warm. Like I feel like it's summer in Nebraska. I already have a fish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He was a he was a little guy. He was running with it though. Did you just catch one? Oh, you missed him. He missed one. I missed one. I have a sense that there's a lot of fish in here. It's like gin clear, gin clear water right now. Super clear. Super clear. Some vegetation. That that just has stanko written all over it for me. All right, right in the middle. That's my pond tip for the day. Right in the freaking middle. Come on, fish. Gotcha. That was a golf ball. Are they just pissed at us? Is that what's going on? That golf ball was not that far from us. So if I get hit unconscious, I just will we'll pick up the vlog in the ER, I guess. Wow. I feel like that was 100% intentional. Where the hell were they trying to hit it? Now I'm starting to fear for my life. Dude, someone's gonna clock us, I'm telling you. All right, no look at uh, little pit stop number one on spot number one. Besides dodging golf balls, there just hasn't been a whole lot of action, so we're gonna make a, oh. Yes, sir. You going that way? I can navigate for myself, sir. Okay, well, we just got kicked out. Way to go, Charlie. Making me look bad. All right, well, we're done. That lasted a whole four seconds. Yeah, they definitely tried to hit us with a golf ball. Well, that's what happens when you bring flair, you get kicked out. That's pretty much just a given. You bring me, two casts in, they boot you onto the next spot. I've literally been fishing in Texas for like not even 10 minutes before we got kicked out. So we're leaving. Those dudes for sure hit, were hitting golf balls at us. I kind of figured that's what was going on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to another spot. I'm still determined. We're gonna catch fish before it gets dark. I did not fly all the way to Texas to not catch fish. So we are out of the car. We decided to try another golf course since that last one worked out so well. Why not try another one? We don't know what's gonna happen here. The last one, we had golf balls hit at us and then we got yelled at. So this one could get interesting. You catching any? Oh, uh, he just, just like two seconds ago caught one down there. Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what he's using. Okay, all right, well, we'll give her a shot. Yeah. This one is, you are allowed to fish this one. There's like five other people fishing it. So we're doing something right here. Just like the last pond, I'm starting off with the Sanko. Like I said, I was gonna turn this into a pond video. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to give you guys some tips as I'm pond fishing. Mainly my tip as of right now is don't get kicked out. That's one. And two, uh, start with a Sanko. That's usually my go-to. They're not as dumb as we thought. I'm seeing some fish cruising. No, I didn't see any big ones. That one was probably like maybe two. Ooh, that was for sure fish. What am I doing? I'm sitting here freaking twiddling my thumbs as a bass pulls away my, my bait. I definitely just had one try. This is like super, super clear. 
and shallow. Like it, this literally looks like nothing would ever be in it, but like you can see bass like swimming around. But like we pulled up and there's like five people here. So I know these fish are super pressured, which is another reason why I'm going with the Senko. So again, pond tips with flare. If uh, the, if, I mean, I'm giving you tips and I have not even proven myself, but you know, normally a Senko is a pretty subtle, natural bait. You don't want to be coming in here with like a buzz bait, anything crazy like that. But I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna keep fishing and hopefully not cast into a tree like that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Nothing, man. All right, well, I'm making another move around to the deeper side. He said, uh, Charlie said that there's a deeper side of this pond. Oh, I had one. Yeah, he was a little guy though. He was like real hard, like thunk, 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 thunk. Oh yeah, he pulled me down. Just a little guy. I didn't. I waited to set the hook on him for a little while. I was hoping he'd eat it. That was for sure a flare fish. Let's see if I can actually hook one. They are smart, clear water fish. They do not like lures. When there's freaking eight people fishing a pond the size of my backyard. So we are back at the vehicle. We're chilling. I'm actually trying to get this drone, this drone going. I haven't tossed the drone up in a few videos, so I, it had to upgrade or update or something. So I'm gonna let that happen. I figured since the fishing sucks that you guys can get pre-pictures of Austin, Texas in this video, but there is a very, very small chance that we'll catch some fish. I wouldn't say very small chance. Very small chance of catching a very big one, if that makes any sense. Uh, we're throwing, what it, oh. well, we were gonna throw until he decided to break it. Look at that thing. This is an iSlide 262 10 inch glide bait. The small fish, they don't really like it, but I mean, the big fish, they'll come after and crank this thing. So that's what we're gonna be throwing tonight, like in the dark. So filming that might get interesting. I didn't bring any like special lights for that. So that's what we're doing. We're getting that tied on. He's actually gonna go throw that at the golf course pond for just a little bit until it gets dark. I'm gonna fly the drone around, have some fun. So hope you guys enjoy this dope drone footage. leaving this golf course did not catch anything but instead threw the drone up and started throwing giant glide baits and uh, I'm not sure if the other people fishing enjoyed that because it's kind of like the equivalent of grabbing like an eight pound dumbbell and shucking it in the middle of the water I think they might have thought we were throwing rocks so we are gonna go get food and then after we go get food we are gonna go somewhere else to catch big fish it's just basically just a big fish day it's all this, all the rest of the day uh, includes is just going after big fish Big monsters throwing big baits. Well, the audio on this is gonna be great. That's what we're fishing right now. Not a spillway, something or another. So I'm sure the audio is pretty much trash. That's the bait I'm gonna be throwing. Pretty realistic looking little dude there. I'm gonna be throwing that. We've also got a jig in this dude. I slide 262. Right there. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be throwing some big baits, going after big fish. Hopefully catch a giant. You guys probably can't see a thing or hear a thing because of the water, but. I'm taking a lure out. You, like I said, you can't see anything. I'm, just, just trust me on this. I am going fishing right now. Just, so, just letting you guys know. You just, there's a snapping turtle. Oh my god, my toes are about to get bitten off. Just pause. Like, do you pause it, it, it and then jerk pops, it? You know? Okay. So, and now, now do it. Eight oh one p.m. I'm good. I'm good. You, oh, you're good. Your camera ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. So, as you can see, we're not. I was like, I, I kind of got done editing this and I was like, wow, you guys legitimately could not see anything when we were fishing in the uh, the little spillway deal. But basically we were just throwing big swim baits. I don't know, you, they've caught fish there, right? Oh yeah. You weren't just taking me to like some random like no, sewer hole? There. Okay, okay, so there's been fish there. So Giant fish. Yeah, there's just giant. So like the thing with fishing g for giant fish is like, it's like a, it's not once in a lifetime, but it's like very, pretty rare, right? Like, yeah. Like it's probably like one out of like five, ten times you go there, you'll catch one, right? Yeah. Okay. It's so all worth it when you hook a giant, your heart just drops to your feet and you just feel it shaking around. You know, you have, you know, fish of a lifetime on the end of your line. Yeah. So that was what we were going for tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to a lake. 
Lake X, and we are going to be fishing a tournament. I'm not even going to say who's going to be there. There's going to be some YouTubers there, and it's going to be lit. And so you guys have to see that tomorrow, the next day, uh, when I put that video up. And then after that, we're going to another YouTuber's house. That I, I can't say anymore. I'm just I'm giving too much away as it is. It's going to be absolutely epic. So I know I apologize that there were not any fish. There literally was zero fish in this video, but I went fishing. I flew from Omaha, Nebraska, all the way to Austin, Texas. We went fishing. We tried. We gave it our we gave it our best shot. We fished for like three hours, which isn't a long time, but we fished a lot and got some dope drone footage. If you, so if you guys liked this video, if you like the drone. Let me know, because it is kind of a pain to toss up. I think it looks really cool. If I'm the only one that thinks it's cool, I'm going to stop doing it. But if you think the drone is cool, let me know down in the comment section down below and hit the like button. I promise the next couple of videos from Austin are going to be absolutely lit. So that's that's pretty much all I have. Are you going to do like a John B. Uh, peace out Girl Scout thing? All right, yeah, peace. Yeah, I got you. Are these guys kicking us out too? We're getting double kicked. We're getting double kicked out right now. No? No, these guys don't care. <laughs>